We ain't done one of these for a while. This is a trotter video. We're gonna try and hone these balls out with a little DIY tool. See you in a minute. Right, it's good to be back on the trotter engine now. I've been doing so many other different things. It's about time we got back on this. I wanted it ready for the summer. That's not going to be the case now. I know that much. Right, so what we've got here, we've got this little uh, 750cc engine here. Now, I don't really want to have to re-bore it now. I'm not going to go down that road. I've got a new set of uh, rings to go on it. Uh, these are the ones I've chosen. Uh, these cost £20 a set for each piston, so we've got £80 worth of rings to go on there. And these are for the standard ball fitment. And that's what I'm going to be fitting to the pistons once I uh, sort that lot out. But first of all, I've got one of these tools. Now this is a do-it-yourself honing bore kit, which is spring-loaded. In other words, what you have to do, these are 180 grit stones on this, which are quite coarse. And uh, you insert that into the bore onto an electric drill. And they sort of spring open and tension against the sides of the walls you've got to move them up and down and you've got to lubricate them and that should hopefully hone the bores so that the new piston rings aren't going over a glazed surface so i've never used one of these before but we'll give it a go and i haven't got any cutting compound or cutting fluid so what you can use apparently is automatic transmission fluid or power steering fluid i've got some of that you've got to soak the stones first you've got to soak the bores and then you've obviously got to rotate and pull these out now when you do pull this out what you don't want to happen is to come out as you see these these are on like a pivot point and you don't want to pull this out of the bore past the pivot point otherwise they open up and it will round off the top of the actual ball which you don't want so you've, you've got to sort of control the movement and not go past the pivot point easier said than done no doubt so i'm going to just do all these stones up and then we'll have a little go with it Right, so I've got some uh, gear oil here, so this should do the job. So I'm just going to put that onto these stones. And it does soak into the stones as well, so... I'm being a bit more messy than what I should do, to be honest with you, but... Uh, I can always clear that up. So what I'm also going to do here is to actually lubricate the bore as well make sure we've got some uh, coverage on the bore right okay standing up <clears throat> now as I say I've never done this before myself so uh, it's all trial and error right I'll try and show you the bore first of all I don't know if you're going to get any the bores are okay but they're just a bit dirty and a slight little bit of rust on them they look pretty smooth, all the lines are going up and down vertical, there is some slight lines on there, but uh, you're not going to be able to remove them, but... Alright, so, I'm going to try and push this into the bore. Put that one in. There we go. Right, we're in. And I'm just going to... Get there and just have a little look. Right, well that's looking a lot better actually. I don't know whether you can actually see, I'm gonna try and get the cloth in there and wipe that out, but uh, we're honing the bore obviously. And as you can see, it's taken that shiny glaze off which we got on that bore there, and we're getting a nice matte finish as you can see down there. So I ain't gonna do it need to do much more to that to be honest with you. I'm just going to give it one more go and there's a bit in the middle there as you can see which I need to uh, just address but it's smoothed out quite a lot of that stuff and it's got a nice as I say matte finish now for the um, the brand new piston rings to seat themselves in you don't want it smooth like this as I say this is smooth and shiny because the new piston rings will just glaze and shine over that these ones they'll create their own seal so I'm going to just give that another quick lubrication and then we'll do it one more time so yet again because these are new stones i'm just gonna oil up these stones as well 
again and keep them lubricated. Right, okay. That's another one lubed up. Again, you can uh, buy these in separate sizes as well, different sizes for bigger engines. But you can use these on uh, lawnmower engines as well, I would have thought. Just a little bit awkward to get in if you're on your own. Put in. There we go. I think that's all we need to do. Right, so it's just so that I can get it cleaned a little bit, I'll just give that a swish around there. So as you can probably see there with the light where it is, the difference between that bore now and that bore, this one's freshly honed. We've got the spirals going around that way instead of the vertical up and down one. So although there's a little bit of a a little bit of uh, wear on that. There's nothing there that's going to affect it, to be honest with you. And uh, I'm going to carry on now and do the rest. I'll put you on time lapse for that, and I'll see you in a minute. say that's doing an absolutely fantastic job for such a cheap tool I think it was only about 13 or 14 pounds something like that I've just got one more pass to do on the last one <coughs> and again just lubricate just keep it well lubricated that's what we've got to do I'm running two passes for each one of these so the first one is just to get things moving and the second one is the uh, the final cut so this tool's doing a marvelous job for that and I'm also not going too fast as well. You can do this with a battery drill. In fact, a battery drill is probably a lot better, a lot more controlled speed. So I'm lucky enough this is a variable speed drill. Well, here we go for the last pass. Right, okay, that's it. That's the last pass. If you can see the sort of grey, matte grey inside, that's where it's been finishing it off. And as you can probably see there, the uh, I've not wiped that end one down yet, but as you can probably see there, it's a, a, a nice matte sort of surface now. I can't really get the light in there to show you, but uh, that definitely take the new rings no problem at all. So this will obviously have to be run in as well. Right, and because I have one, I'm putting it back into the parts washer and I'll wash, wash all that sort of gritty residue off. So let me just do this. Got my gloves on, where are they? Here we go. I did buy some of these uh, rubberized gloves, someone did say that, but uh, there's, there's really there's really not a few lot of fumes coming off this at all, to be honest with you. So I'm really pleased with this. I thought it would have been really pongy, and uh, that's not been the case, and I've used it quite a few times now. Right, let's get this cleaned up then. Right, there we go. I 
I think you'll be able to see there. Let me show you. You can see it really shining that uh, the metal there, as you can see, and I'm really, really pleased with that. And yeah, it's done a very good job. So that's ready now to accept the, uh, the piston rings. Absolutely fine now. So I'm really happy with that. So there we go. There was the first time I've used a honing tool myself, and uh, it, it needed a little bit of a control, but better with a battery drill. A lot slower you can go then, obviously, but you don't want to go too slow, obviously. But uh, it seems to have done the job, so I'm pleased with that. And don't forget, tomorrow we're going to be doing a shout out Sunday. Uh, we won't be doing any work tomorrow on the car, but uh, we will be down uh, Sharon's brother's caravan. We've got a couple of little odd jobs to do down there, so we'll be doing a little shout out down there as well. Call it a day off if you want. So there you go. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to uh, hit that little subscribe button there and ring that little bell as you know that when we uh, upload any videos, you'll get notified first. Thanks very much. See you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.